Hi everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. We are here for Tuesday 10. So Tuesday 10 is a weekly challenge I give myself to use 10 things from this big basket of stuff that I keep on the back of my desk um, that I've saved. There are magazine pages, book pages, digitals that I printed out and didn't use, etc. And the challenge is to just make ephemera until I'm finished using 10 pieces. So today's 10. I have a no a Norval Morriso um, painting from a magazine that I would love to use for something beautiful. I think it would look lovely in a nature journal. Um, and then this is a magazine page that I just think is really, really cool. I think it would make a nice background. This is some um, jelly printing and waste paint on um, an old music page. This is a book page that has sort of this leafy pods and some red berries on that side. This is another book page. I just love these flowers. They're beautiful. Um, this is a digital from Release the Crafton. It is um, a leftover from a kit that I printed and I ended up having that extra page. This is um, a collage uh, page that I made with scraps from my scrap bin. This is a book page um, from some kind of a mythology book, I think, um, and it's a bit, it's it's about like herbal medicine, and it has like some really cool kind of black worked images. This is a beautiful book page. It says at evening tide she climbed up into a little tree and purposed spending the night there for fear of the wild beasts. And it's just this beautiful woman in a tree. And then we have a beautiful tree here. This is from a book. Um, it's uh, some white birch trees and yellow leaves and birch and sycamore. Um, or no, this is this is elm, sorry. That's a flaking Chinese elm tree. So yeah, that is what I have to use today. So <sighs> where to begin? Um, first I'd like to look through and see is there anything I'd like to use together? Um, maybe and maybe. Um, yeah, I think that is what I would use together if anything. Just because I sort of like these flowers at the bottom here and how they would look with these yellow leaves. So I'm thinking of cutting them out and then I'll use this in some collage because I just love the text. I think it's really pretty. So I'm just going to cut um, around these flowers so that we can separate them from the page. And I think um, of all of this, I'm just going to use this image. So let's tear it out. Get all of the other distractions out of here. Oops. beautiful piece of black walnut dyed paper that got a little crack in it um, when it stuck to my pan when I, it was being dyed and I think I will back this with this so I'm actually just going to go right ahead now and glue it on there So now we have the sort of basis of what we're going to use. There we go. Just flatten this out nicely. I apologize if this is a little shiny. I know it's a magazine page, so it's got some shine to it. Um, so now I want to cut these flowers sort of apart if I can. They're a little bit 
challenging to fussy cut. I'm going to need something like fairies or fireflies or something else to make this this page um, make sense. So I feel like maybe I only can use one of these because it's quite large. And I think together they look a little strange, but I might be able to. What if I trimmed this one down and it was more like this? Mm, no, I think I'll keep that to the side, actually. Okay, um, hmm. This one's a little bit challenging for sure. I need a focal point for it. I'm just going to grab my, I have this random bag of, like, things I've cut out of books. Um, like an art book, primarily a large art book. I'm not sure if I'm going to find the kind of thing I need for this because I think it's mostly, although she would be beautiful there, um, hmm. yeah, let's just cut this silhouette of her out here. cover her dainty bits for those of you who are squeamish to such things <laughs> which is hopefully no one <laughs> um I'm, ju I'm just kidding um okay yeah I think I like that so I'm going to I think glue that down and maybe we will use Actually, maybe I won't use this. I'll use words. I'll make um, a verse to kind of cover all of the pieces of her that we want to cover. So let's just get her glued down in a nice place and get the, um, the flowers at the bottom here glued down. Whether or not I keep this apple, I'm not sure. I don't necessarily want the Eve type theme, but we'll see. I love that she has red hair. Okay. Um, I need my word snippets. I also need this to get out of my way. I'll just do that. flew a beautiful bird. Hmm. 
Beauty in the Wood. Enchantment had come. Sing like a nightingale. Out of the fire flew a beautiful bird. Enchantment had come. Okay, and then maybe we'll add a beautiful bird as well. Sorry for that clanging sound. I have a, um, a bulldog clip hanging up here and it's just not behaving itself. I need to find a beautiful bird and I know I saw, actually hold on. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm not allowed to pretend that I don't have 10,000 bird books. Now I need to find a bird that would work in this picture and I'm thinking that one could work nicely. I like the yellow and I want it to be facing her. So yeah, let's do that. Whoops. Okay, so now we will glue these down. Beauty in the Wood, sort of like that will be the, um, the title of this story. I think I want to put the bird back here, sort of like this. Um, hmm. Nope. This bird is, isn't going to work. He's too big. I think I'm looking for something else, maybe. I don't know if this bird idea is going to work. Just saw something cool. Hold on. No, those aren't the right birds. Thinking something a little smaller, like, like this one could work because it's like, it has a branch that could come into the page. Um, and it's kind of more like the size is a little more sensible to the size of her. And see that could kind of be swinging in from the side there. I like that. And then of course I'm going to ink and bring everything together again. Um, there's also this little tiny bird here. Sorry if I'm out of frame. Okay. Yeah, and that could all just kind of bring it all together maybe. Um, Let's get the books out of here. She could also be holding a bird if I wanted to do that. Okay. So if you can hear my children banging on something upstairs. 
my son is teething so he's not in any pain he's just kind of I don't know he gets a little bit rough housey when he's teething and he is teething for sure right now these are all too big to be held in her her little hand I think um yeah for sure I'm just going to look at the birds again and decide if I do want to put a bird in her hand if I have one like this little one let's see this is why bird books are awesome because um you know you can use birds of all different sizes for different projects like this need him big enough to cover the apple yeah yep so we'll change the whole narrative of this picture okay then we just really need some ink to um bring this all together glue under this. There we go. There, right, now everything just kind of fits together. All right, number one is done. And I think I probably will add stitching around the edge of that at the end. Okay, that took a long time, I think. <laughs> and we are only, I think, finished using one page, maybe two. Um, okay. So I, I think I'll just get rid of the rest of that. I don't really think I need to use that. I've got this to use in collage, um, so I'll set it over to the side. Now, this one's a little tough, I think. These are a lot of these are going to be a little tough. <laughs> but I will tackle them as I go. So this one I think is just beautiful. Um Now, this is one of those things where I want to like use the text again by putting it back on the image. I just need to decide like how much of the image I want to keep. So I think I'll do this. Maybe this. Because we want this to be like journal sized ephemera, not giant ephemera. Though I do like to make a lot of giant ephemera. Okay. These words back here and then decide how we want to have them cut both fit. This one's a little long. Um,
Sorry if I'm being a little quiet. I'm just kind of feeling in the zone. I hope that when we do these that you craft along with me, make along with me. Because these are just kind of like relaxing, using up things in the studio kind of videos. So they're not my normal, you know, action-packed, high-impact <laughs> art videos. <laughs> Okay, um, what else do I want to have happening here? Anything, I don't know. Whoops, well, I would like some glue. That would be good. I felt like maybe I didn't have enough glue on that one, and I was like, oh, no, it's okay. No, it's not. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Hmm. What else would I want to do on this? I'm not sure it needs a whole lot, really. Um, maybe a little bit of book spine. No, it doesn't really need that. Something a little bigger in book spine, maybe? That might be cool. Okay, let me get some paper. I'm just um, getting a piece of paper here to back this with and to thicken it up a bit. And we'll see what we're going to do. We have another of these um, <laughs> these pages that I got from... This was... Um, this is fake. This is from a movie set. Um, I bought an estate of old books from a movie set. And one of the boxes was full of like fake FBI files. <laughs> and this is one of the pages and they always crack me up. So yeah, don't worry, I'm not like doing any weird FBI type activities or anything here. Um, yeah, I think that would look really cool. I almost wonder, I was going to back with this, but like, would this add a nice element? Maybe even though it would like make the ephemera bigger, I actually don't care. I'm going to do this. I like that. <laughs> this is sticky. Let's get rid of it. Glue. I had kind of an easygoing day today. Um, although I'm actually getting kind of tired of these easygoing days. Like I want to get outside and not getting as uh, much outdoor time as I need to like be okay. <laughs> I need to go outside or I start to get a little bit, ugh, I don't know, unhappy. But also the kids need the outdoor time too. And like we, we, we did go for a walk today. It wasn't as bitterly cold, but it has been crazy bitterly cold. But um, I am proud of myself because I did go tobogganing with my daughter on a giant mountainous hill this week, um, which is a very different experience as an adult <laughs> than it was when I was a child, though I, ha I had a lot of fun. I really liked it, and she had a blast, and that's the fun part. It's how fun it is to see kids just like <laughs> having the time of their life on a snow hill. It's really great. Okay, so let's glue this now to that piece of paper that I have um, set aside to back this with. And I don't think I needed to glue the whole thing, but that's okay. And I've glued my pin to my finger. Let's just put that away. Okay. Oh yeah, that's better. I like that. And then when I add some stitching to it, it's going to be even cooler.
run one line of glue there, but I am going to stitch around this and then uh, kind of heavily ink it probably. Clean out my ink. Oops. All right. So that's that one and I'm going to be stitching it and probably trimming it a little more. I mean, actually just trim it a little more right now before I forget. And then I stitch the entire thing, even though I don't want it this big. Okay. I want to leave this on this side, I think, but it might look weird. Maybe not though. Let's just leave it and we'll see later. Okay. Two. All right, what's next? Let's go with this one. This one's hard, I think, because it's like a big piece of like paper. And this is when I was using like everything. Whoops. Sorry, I'm just getting my guillotine. I was using like everything in my scrap bin. Like I was putting like literally everything in there. And then, you know, not realizing as I was making these pages, like how I'd be able to use them. So that's why they've languished in my studio forever here. Um, all right, just so gonna cut the crazy edges off of this. See what we're dealing with. We have a blue heron, we have ducks, we have sandpipers, <laughs> we have birds everywhere, and I think we're probably going to cover all of them because I think the most attractive part of this is the jelly printing and the weird paper and the handmade paper. So I think we're going to turn this into we'll say maybe three tags. One, two, three. Okay. Yep. All right. Now we need to make these look like they're not horrible. Oops. Sorry for all the crashing around. My goodness. Okay. It's a clean house here. So I do have other things here probably that could help me um, to make these better. And also, you know, that's the whole point here. We're trying to use stuff up. So... I know I've got this little Neville Moriso, Norval Moriso, um, painting. Hmm. I'm actually going to cut it out and see if I can do something with it here. Norval Morriso is just an incredible, he's an incredible painter, an indigenous um, painter. There's a documentary, I forget if it's on like Prime or um, somewhere else, but there's like a huge, there's been like a huge business and people just um, like art dealers just ripping off like fake Norval Morriso, which I find really frustrating. So, I have some ideas. Do, 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 do. Yellow, more yellow, and orange. Let's do something weird. Let's get weird. Okay, that's good. Then maybe, um, little red or blue, maybe blue, little red too. We're going to just be inspired by the beautiful colors. Okay. Whoops. That's good. Okay. All right. I need to clean this, this deck a little here so that I can focus. And I need a page to use as a background paper to just center myself here. I don't know why, but I just like to have this. It's like, this is your workspace. Stay here. <laughs> All right. So what I'm thinking about is adding this here 
in the center because I like this bit of yellow here. I may end up losing it anyways. And then just ruffle these around a bit and create two, two piles of them. Roughly the same um, amount. Then I have this thought about like, this might be too bulky, but um, like laying it here and like stitching this on top of it. But everything is going to need to get thicker to do this. So we're going to need to thicken things up. So let's get some scrap cardstock that's been hanging about here. And first we are going to thicken up this Norval Morisseau picture. Uh, if you've never seen the documentary you should check it out if you just like google like Norval Morisot documentary or even just you know google him because his work's amazing and if you're familiar with this kind of indigenous art um he is truly the the most I, I would say like the you know the elder of doing this kind of work so Okay, so we have to put that good and thick so that it can support being on top of the threads when I stitch it on there. Okay. And then I also need to thicken this too a little bit. Um, I need another piece of paper to do that. Is this the same? Yeah, that's roughly the same. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, I need some time to stitch. I'll be right back and I will show you where we are. All right, we are back. So this is all finished. So um, I added the threads to the top and bottom and stitched around this several times, backed this and stitched around the edge once more. Um, and I'm pretty happy about it. I think I'm just going to tease the threads out a little bit because I trapped them under some uh, some stitching and yeah I'm really happy with this. I also took the time while I was there to um, stitch around the other two pieces that we've created so far and I'm happy with them as well. Yay! Okay so one two three pieces completed. How many more pieces of paper do we have? I still feel like I'm oh yeah I've still got these to go. Oh geez. <laughs> well we'll see how that works out. Okay um but other than that, we've still got quite a bit of paper. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's take a little um, sanity break and take something that's already beautifully been done for us by Release the Craft In and just cut these out. And you know what? I may combine using them with these tags over here because that will kind of be like a two birds, one stone situation. And also I think that they would go really nice um, together. So I'm going to cut this out. And it's kind of giving me an idea here to do like um 
this, then maybe, maybe I could double writing space, kind of like a pocket tag. Yep, hold on. We might have a solution here for these. Both of these actually. This still needs something back here because it's just, I don't like the colors, but um, that I don't really think works though. Okay, let's just cut this little one out. That might help. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? I also have this. I can use some of this. covered that part that I really don't like right there. Added this here and this. Sorry for that little hitch there. I um, had to change batteries because clearly this is taking 500 years. So, okay, what was I doing? I was still struggling away with these tags. Well, not struggling. I have an idea with what I'm gonna do here. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, I think I need a new glue stick. This one's getting kind of sad. Yep, it's sad. I know I have another one that I have open over here, but I don't know if it's also at the very end. It might be, because I sometimes hang on to these because I'm like, I should use up, yeah, it's totally at the end. I should use up this last bit of glue, but I'm going to get a new one, hold on. Because we have struggled enough. <laughs> I really like doing Tuesday 10. I think it's fun. I think sometimes it definitely takes a long time though, but um, that's okay. Cause we're just having fun. I just worry about how long the video is going to take to upload. <laughs> okay, so now let's cover this ugly orange. Oof. I don't like the orange there. All right, now, um, Next, I want to cover this up and make this a pocket, I think. Um, yeah. But I think I need a little bit more width to it for it to be like completely big enough to be a pocket. And I have this scrap black paper that could be really cool if I um, don't make this too wide. Okay, so it's got to overlap a little bit. Let's just cover this in glue. It's like a scrap kind of file folder here. I right, just need to move out of my way. Get out of my way! Alright. There's my tag right there. So this would go to there. This would be to here, but I want to cut some of that off. So about like right there would be good. Like that. Then this on better. Then we will glue the edge here. Let's 
So we have like a pocket on top of this. Then let's do the same over here. Just kind of like do these at the same time. So this, I gotta get rid of this tab. Then, do I have enough of this black paper, I think? Yep, okay. My house is so quiet right now that I'm a little scared. <laughs> Why is it so quiet? Okay. Unless the kids fell asleep, which is quite possible because they've been like total orangutans for the majority of the day. All right. Okay. Yep. Good. Now, I even have, hold on. I could like seriously use these too. These are um, tags from um, Release the Crafton, but I accidentally did them on copy paper instead of like good thick paper. So what I could do is I could make tags for these pockets with these, but you know what? Unless I can do it using something from the Tuesday 10, I probably should like, you know, not because this is going to take more time but i think maybe later that's what i will do so i'll just set this paper aside um now we need to finish these back of them um and then trim them into a tag and maybe find some nice piece of like fabric to put up top so first we'll back them Yeah, that would be nice. Actually, do I want to maybe just do a slot in there and then have a longer strip that I can then loop through? Let's see. That might be nicer, actually.
Okay. That's great. Yay. All right. Now the next one. I need to back it. And I think I may actually just use that one for this. I feel like I'm working so slowly. Oh my goodness. I know it's only going to have been about an hour. But I feel like this video probably is going to be a little longer than an hour. <laughs> so this is your long, your long play, chill out, fall asleep, or craft with me kind of video. <laughs> stitching all will be well in the world and they'll be done and then I can put some little tags in there and they will be really nice so just gonna glue this one on and then I'll stitch it after just add a little glue there so that it doesn't get lost okay this one I have felt the entire time like I wanted to make like a booklet out of it um, like so I think or potentially an envelope oh this is tough now hold on <laughs> it's actually just really nice Ugh, I don't know it's big too I think a booklet I think that I would like a booklet more so the first thing I need to do I'd like to back this with um, packaging. Okay. It's all going to get stitched, so if it's looking a little rudimentary right now, it's because it is. Don't worry. I gotta get some paper. So these are some of my cabbage dye papers. I've been achieving these really beautiful sunburst markings. So, and then this is the clear paper I really like that I'm gonna put in here. Um, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna fold all three of those together. Uh, so. This is going to be the cover. So what I'm going to do is first stitch around here, trim this all down, put the pages in, um, stitch in the middle. Like once I've got this, you know, like this, and then stitch in the middle and we're going to make a booklet. So give me a little bit of stitching time. I'll be right back. Okay. We are all stitched around. Um, I probably just need to do a little bit of paper trimming here. Um, oh, the other thing I forgot to mention, I just did it without even thinking, because I always do. Whenever I stitch, like, through a booklet like this on the outside, I always put washi tape over the exposed stitches, just because, like, when the needle pounds on paper, on the back side that you didn't stitch on, like, the paper gets displaced and pushed out. And usually you can kind of, you know, bone fold over it and lay it down, but I just think it looks a little nicer to just completely seal it in, so that's what I did. And I was thinking about this, you know, you could also cut this in half and have two little booklets. That would be fun. Um, or you could, um, if you did that though, just do another line of stitches because you'd be breaking your stitch. Um, the other thing is you could add something like a label on the front here. Um, this is just another like way of making, um, you know, another little booklet. This is the kind of thing that's nice to tuck into the center of a journal, just like a little notebook with additional pages. And you know, obviously you could jazz it up a lot more because like, it's like a little journal on its own. So, okay, all of that is done. Let's look at what we have left here. We have three pieces and I'm getting a little bit sleepy. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, um, I want to use the pods from this. That's what I kept it for really is I just, I really liked this um, image of these leaves and pods. 
and sometimes like it's as simple as that that's why I hang on to things like um I'm gonna keep this bit of like berry for my scrap bin so I'm thinking about how I could use these together maybe what do I want to make with this um like a journal card or I also have this and I'm not sure but I think I need some focal points regardless of whatever I'm doing here um I also think that would make a nice belly band and it would be really nice on some fabric I think what if we just did that or like even on hmm even like on the green paper maybe let's just let's just do let's not say maybe let's just do it okay so if we glue this down here leave a little of the green on both sides this green fabric what would that look like mm. it's not wide enough to like back the whole thing hmm. and my fabric is kind of inaccessible right now because I've been reorganizing in my studio because I don't know I think it's all of you cleaners are influencing me <laughs> I don't want to clean. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do some stitching. Um, I'm going to stitch this on and we're going to make a belly band with this. So give me one minute. Okay, we are back. Belly band is done. And I really like how it turned out, actually. It's very fun. Um, and yeah, I've got my pods here that I wanted to save. And I got to use up some nice fabric, which is good. And then I also took a moment to just um, stitch around these two while I was over at the machine. Um, so that's also finished. Okay, we've got one piece of paper. Well, kind of one and a half, kind of two, actually. <laughs> if I want to use this up, this is a tag, right? It just, we know it's a tag. Look at it, it's a tag, clearly. We need a focal point for this tag and I'm gonna throw this back in the scraps. And also, what do we want to do with this? Let's think about this right now too, okay? So it's huge right now. Let's take a little bit of it away, this edge. I mean, I obviously have the option to do a booklet again, but I think I'm not going to like cop it that way. I'm going to like actually make a couple things. This one can go. So now we've got three, three backgrounds, right? And this is how a lot of projects start for me. They're just, they're backgrounds and we need to fill them up with something that's either relevant to my theme or in this case, whatever I want because I'm just making ephemera that I'm gonna fit into things a little later on. That's funny, I, whenever I make ephemera this way, I'm always like, oh no, I'm gonna have too much ephemera that just doesn't have a home. But like, that's not true ever. Um, it always finds its home pretty easily. I like the colors together, oh my gosh. Look at this little puppy, oh my gosh. All right, let's, uh, Let's make use of her. I mean, she's kind of um, interesting looking. Oops, what did I just do that? Okay, it's okay. I can tell a story about her and her puppy here on this background. Or I kind of made this one a little thin. I should have kept these together, maybe. Hmm. I could put them back together. Let's do whatever we want. We're just gonna do whatever we want. Do it. Nothing ever happened. They've always been together, right? Who knew? Okay, and then we have the option because I like that bit of pink there when I keep it behind her. Oh, but wait, her shoulder is a hard angle. So I've gotta, gotta match it up. Maybe I can 
Ooh, yay, that's better. Okay, okay, we're good. We're gonna glue her down. See, this is how things develop. You just keep going. Also, I think it's a really good thing to do what I do, especially if you wanna um, not have 50 million books in your book collection. Like, if you have a book that you bought that's a large book, like say, you know, all these art books, I buy a lot of art books, um, cut them down, like just keep all of the pages that you find something cool on, and then, you know, take it to the next level again and again, like keep making it smaller. First, you know, cut out the pages, then cut out the, um, the images on the page that you want to keep just keep going and then you end up with like this right and then even further you could fussy cut completely but I don't do that because I think like it gives me more opportunity to like work um a little looser oh, that's pretty hold on just sort of digging through like you know cutouts instead of flipping through book after book when you're looking for kind of specific things oh, yes maybe her oh she's beautiful she'd be really nice on the cover of a book so this is what I do then I'm like oh this is too precious I can't use it <laughs> this is you know the thing but I do think she is really cool and I could make a whole book just telling her story. Oh, this girl. This poor dear. She's holding like a funeral urn or something, the poor thing. Okay, uh, no. Not her. quite sour that's okay she's like a you know she's probably like a florentine art kind of she's like holding some kind of a thistle that could be why she's so grumpy okay i'm not sure if i want to keep this whole like pom-pom thing on her head I might like make her life better and get rid of it. Oh no, it actually goes really well. Okay, okay. You know what? I'm starting to think this video might have an end at some point, that I'm not just going to be here for the rest of my life. I was half um, preparing myself to just retire here because this was taking so long, but as it turns out, we might be getting there. This video is totally going to be over an hour, and I'm sorry. <laughs> but I hope you finish stuff too, because, you know, I'm going to have a bunch of stuff at the end of this. Oops, and I forgot to glue this. Um, so I hope that you have just as much as me or more. Maybe you had more organization in your studio, and you don't have all these endless things that I have that's upside down so you don't have this problem okay you're gonna lose your little plant here friend but you'll be all right okay let's trim that gnarly edge off I guess So now it's like she's kind of smirking at her like what are you being so you know surly about and she's not really laughing she's like yeah okay philadelphia police department this is another one of those fake um police documents you know what this needs to fold though because this is not thick enough for um backing 
needs to be double thick. So then it can back this one. Okay, here we go. So here we go. My son loves listening to music. And you know that song? Well, man, and maybe you don't know this, this song because I'm Canadian, so I'm very familiar with the artist The Weeknd and my son is too and absolutely loves The Weeknd and um, actually I'm not going to cut that yet and he's been listening to The Weeknd for a good amount of the day today um, and the song is stuck in my head now and I'm looking at this picture and thinking of that song like save your tears for another day yeah um, that's what I'm thinking because this person just has to save their tears for another day. Okay. You see this like super fast hustle crafting I'm doing now? You know? We're gonna get through this. Okay. I actually quite like these though. Both of them I think are gonna be really cool. And I love that I can back this with my green paper that I dyed. Okay. So next step, stitch and stitch. Um, I'll be back in just a couple moments with these stitched. You know what though? I think I also want to add like a little bit of a fabric element to one of these. Do -do 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 -do. I'm trying desperately to like use fabric up at the same time here because when I did a studio cleanup, I've determined that's the thing that I have too much of. Like just absolutely, I just have too much fabric. Um, everything else is cool, but like, yeah, too much fabric. So I'm on a fabric diet and I'm going to use up as much fabric as I can. So let's make a tab for both of these, like some kind of a fabric element. Okay, I'll be back. These will be stitched and then we'll be able to go to bed. It'll be great. Okay, we are done. We are done. Finally, we are done. Okay, so what did we do? So this I'm going to use as just a little pocket in a journal because that's actually what it is. Um, this we finished, stitched around, all backed and good to go, journal card. This is a nice big journal card out of this bit of nice gold um, fabric up top. And um, just get rid of that thread. I like her and her cute little dog. This is um, a tag with a pocket on it. And so is this. So we have these and um, I'll be able to stuff them both. A belly band. This one I think might be my favorite of the day with the, the Norval Morisot. Um, and then this one, the beauty in the wood. And this one, this sort of fun little story about this girl hiding up in this tree from wild beasts. And then our booklet with just these beautiful flowers that's filled with cabbage dyed papers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So Tuesday 10, use 10 things, made 10 things. So are we actually accomplishing anything in life? Maybe, maybe not, but <laughs> I'm kidding. We are. These are all ready to go into a journal. They're not a big stack of junk on my desk. So yay. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm pretty sure this video is really long. So if you stuck around, you're a champion and thank you. Um, and we'll talk again very soon. Hopefully I'll talk a little less, a little shorter, but Take care of you and bye for now.